Although National Recovery Month is wrapping up, it's important to realize the ongoing need to shed light on the dangers of fentanyl use. Rosecrans Behavioral Health provides hope and recovery to those living with mental health and substance use disorders. I spoke to the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Raymond Garcia, to learn more. Rosecrans is a behavioral health company that offers comprehensive treatment for substance use disorders and mental health issues. We provide a full range of services, including uh, residential treatment, outpatient treatment, as well as recovery homes, sober living environments. I would imagine that this is something you have to do together, mental health and substance abuse Absolutely. disorders. Otherwise, if you can't, just solve one problem. Absolutely. At least 50% of people with substance use disorders have a co-occurring mental health issue. And uh, the converse is also true. About 50% of people with mental health issues have co-occurring substance use disorders. So they really go hand in hand. Yes, yeah, so you're really treating the whole person. Okay, mm -hmm. we were talking a little bit before about the fentanyl. Fentanyl out there. It, why, why is it so dangerous and why is it creeped, crept into drugs out on, in the streets? Right. Well, uh, it's dangerous because it's so potent. It's about 100 times more potent than morphine, 50 times more potent than heroin. And um, it is more addicting then. And so it's also cheaper. Okay. So uh, it's used as a common adulterant to uh, give people that high and also to get them more easily addicted. So are you seeing more people are showing up with more of fentanyl addictions than they are possibly the drugs that they even started on? Right, and uh, a lot of it is unintentional because people are getting it in substances that they're seeking without knowing that it's in there. September is National Recovery Month. Uh, talk a little bit about the message you'd like to get out to people. So uh, one of the most important messages is that uh, there should be no shame in seeking treatment. Uh, you know, one of my biggest passions is fighting stigma. Um, it's uh, important to know that hope, help, and recovery is available um, and that one should definitely not hesitate to seek treatment, to seek help. To that end, also, I've noticed in recent years, people now say alcohol use disorder or substance use disorder. They've yes. taken away that word of alcoholic or addict or something. Yes, yes it's an, a, a, another effort to fight stigma. Um, you know, we've associated those terms, addict addiction um, with uh, a certain type of person mm -hmm. um, and we really want to separate that. Um, we want to look at it as the uh, medical uh, illness, as the disease that it is. It's a brain disease and so um, we want people to you know, feel like they can talk about having these problems. Yeah, because where it used to be, the, like you said, the, the homeless person possibly in the street, mm -hmm. now you could see soccer moms, you could see professional you know, athletes, Absolutely. you could see very successful people that are still dealing with these problems. When I teach about these issues to students, uh, I always tell them the chair in my office uh, does not discriminate. I have seen people from, you know, who are experiencing homelessness to CEOs and physicians and attorneys, all sorts of levels of you know, society. And I imagine the pandemic didn't help that at all either. Of course not. Yeah. Of course not. I mean, you know, people were looking for other ways to, you know, to experience life, including to feel that reward. And unfortunately, substance use uh, was one of those ways. Um, people were bored. <laughs> you yeah. know, people yeah. were having, uh, you know, wine uh, Zoom meetings and parties, <laughs> things like that. And then it gets out of hand. Yes. What's the first step to uh, getting help? Well, one of the first steps is recognizing, certainly, that you need help. Mm -hmm. um, and then asking anybody, um, asking your uh, primary care physician, asking your pastor, asking a family member, a friend, um, reaching out and uh, not being afraid to say, I'm having a hard time and I need help. Because uh, any point of entry uh, you know, can be the way to get to treatment. And I imagine with Rosecrans, they could come to you and you can help evaluate whether inpatient, outpatient, what kind of treatment is needed. Absolutely. That's one of the first steps that we take is to determine what level of care do you need. You know, is it going to be counseling? Is it going to be a residential treatment center? Is it intensive outpatient? Well, we have various levels of care. So, yes, that's the first step we take is what do you need? How can we help? For more information about Rosecrans Behavioral Health, scan the QR code on your screen. You can also give them a call or visit rosecrans.org. Rosecrans is also sponsoring tonight's special Saving a Generation, the Fentanyl Crisis. Reporters from Nexstar's network of television newsrooms explore the real stories of grief and loss and look at the work being done to save the next generation of children across the country from falling victim to the deadly drug. You can see that tonight at 8 p.m. on WGN.